In this section, we're going to introduce an advanced area of testing called mocking. Mocking is when you override or change the behavior of the dependencies of the code that you're testing. We use mocking to avoid any unintended side effects and also to isolate the specific piece of code that we want to test. For example, imagine you're testing a function that sends an email. There are two good reasons that you wouldn't want to actually send an email every time you run your tests. The first reason is that you should never write tests that depend on external services. This is because you can't guarantee that these servers will be available at the point that you run the test, and this would make the test unpredictable and unreliable. The second reason is you don't want to be sending spam emails each time you run your test suite. Even if you're using a fake address, those emails would still be backing up on a server somewhere. When you write your test, you can use mocking to avoid sending an actual email. You can override the function in the dependency that sends the email and replace it with a mock object. Using this mock object, we can avoid sending an actual email and instead just check that the function was called with the correct parameters. So that's an example of how mocking would work in practice.